with her husband, John, for a brand new Saturday morning TV show. I'm in my 80s, so I haven't got time to waste. This series is all about the things that really matter to me. <laughs> Family, <laughs> fun, <laughs> food, and friends. <laughs> and some of those friends will be joining oh, me. Oh, yeah. We'll be sharing simple home-cooked recipes, and my long-suffering husband, John, is coming along for the ride. Oh. So please welcome Dame Prulith and her husband, John Playfair. <laughs> In the deep end. So, uh, Prue, last time you were here, you were here on the show, and John, you were downstairs. We had a nice chat when you were downstairs. <laughs> you were just in the background, and now here you are, starring in the show with Prue. How did you feel when they asked you, or what did she ask you? Um, I always obey. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I wish <laughs> <laughs> um, Yes, were you were you straight away? Did you like the idea? Was it your idea? Did you have any reservations? Um, well, I'd always wanted a show of my own. Um, this is not quite my own because he muscled in, <laughs> and he's really good at it. And now I'm really scared that what'll happen next time round it'll be. John's Cotswold kitchen, and I'll be lucky if I get a... <laughs> because he's really good at it. Can he cook? Oh. oh. Can he cook, though? No, he can't cook. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't, he can't cook, and he can't boil an egg, even. I mean, <laughs> they always come out, over, you know, hard work. So what is your role, John? Because this is Prue Leith's Cotswold kitchen, so if yeah. you're not in the kitchen cooking, what is your role in the show? Well, I go round and um, interview... Uh, we've had a lot of people working at our house... Um, since we've gone organic, so we've got lots of people who deal with uh, uh, birds, bird boxes, um, planting of trees, <laughs> vegetable gardens, right. all the outside um, stuff. All the outside stuff. Yeah. So that's John, are you the sous chef or the washer upper? Washer upper. Come on. Right. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, <one of> them. <laughs> Can I ask how you guys got together? Because um, there are some people that don't know, and it's a, a really nice story. So how did you guys get together? Well... Geriatric tender. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> no, in fact, rather boringly, we met in a friend's house, but um, I, I had been... I, I was coming back from Yorkshire with a girlfriend and she was terribly anxious to get to her dinner party. And so, in the end, um, and I said, well, can't you drop me first? And she said, no, 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 it's really... I, I have to be there. And so... We went to her house first. She said, come in for a drink. And when I got in there, there was these two guys standing there and these two sisters, my friend and, and her sister. And in the corner was this little table with um, candles and um, champagne and it was all such an obvious setup. So I was desperate to get out of there. And I hardly listened to a word John was saying because I kept thinking, I, you know, I'm a gooseberry here, I must leave. <laughs> and so then he turned up the next day at my... In my house. Did you uh, indeed? On, on a... so, so Prue shot off thinking I'm interrupting a double date here. Yeah, exactly. I need to get out. So you stayed for the double I date. I had to wait you? ten hours to stalk her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you literally turned up on her doorstep yeah. the next day. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So did you know straight away, John? Instant attraction. Oh. oh. How long have you actually been? I paid him to say that. How long have you been together then? <laughs> How long have you been together? 12 together? years. 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. i tell you what I do like. So, Brent, um, colour. Like this colour. Is it, yeah. I read something that was influenced by you, John, and I see the little... No, it, what, it, what was it, that? It, it definitely is influenced by him, because... Go on. I mean, he's had a lifetime in fashion, haven't you? You, wouldn't, you know, you're a bit dull today. But, well, <laughs> well, you got a little... I'm, I'm glad to see we have the matching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we yeah. like the matching. I started time. off life as a travelling salesman for French fashion, which, age 22, in the 60s, was a hell of a job. <laughs> yeah. You know, a car full of lovely clothes, you know. Yeah, so rooms yes, full of women, lovely so do women. You, do you advise, do you ask yeah. John's advice? Like, if you wear something, you say, what do you think of this? Do you like yeah, it? Yeah, I do. I generally ask him. And, and I say, do you think this is too much? And he says, no, it's not enough, you know. And he'll fish out. I'll have some nice, discreet little earrings and he'll go... I've got his drawers full of these things. And he will pick out enormous great things, <laughs> or much more colour. So it's been great for me. Cause <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've always liked a lot of colour, but John is pushes me further. 
Oh. I mean, I that was great oh, because <laughs> most women, as soon as they reach the age of 50, they think they've got to live their entire life in in grey and beige and mm. boring And you're like that. absolutely kicking against that. No, I, I, think, really I, that. I think you need colour in your life. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, Prue, I believe that you don't like watching yourself back on TV. Why is that? Well, I, I don't because I'm always thinking, I'm so vain, I like the cameraman to stay dead in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I like the attention, and, and, I, and I, I look all right from the front. But as you can see, from the side, I'm not nearly so good. <laughs> not no, I well. hate it when they go round the back. And, and I don't like watching... I, you know, I, I mean, I've done the show, so it's, it's a waste of my life to go and watch it again. You know? but, don't like... <laughs> <laughs> but you like, you like watching the crew, though. I do, you? yes. Yeah. Uh, oh. Why not? It's great fun. I like the show. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I, mean, I find it extraordinary that I like a baking show. <laughs> but it's such a happy place. I mean, I get 40 snogs from everybody before I hit the wife. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's wonderful. So Love it's... by nature, too. Oh, lovely. So yeah. it's Valentine's Day coming up. Have you got anything planned? John, that you Nothing can reveal? I can tell you about. I was going <laughs> to say that, John. Yes, John. I was going to say that. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> and, so, and you've also got our lovely Alison that have joined you for this series. How's all that going? She's brilliant, I think. I do too. I, 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 we have, we, I have a different friend who comes every, every, um, every week. And um, Alison was terrific, um, of course, and Sandy also from Bake Off, was wonderful. Yeah. But we had lots of people who were just tremendously good at what they do, and so it's about food heroes. It's a bit about cooking. I do a lot of hacks, you know, cheats and quick ways around things. Mm -hmm. And so it's a pretty friendly... And it's show. all in your home. And it's yeah. all in our, ho yeah. our home. And that's one of the best things, because when we're doing Bake Off, you know, I have to get up very often at quarter to five in the morning, um, because, you know, it takes two hours to get there. And then there's makeup and all the rest of it. But in this, with this show, I'd be, I'd be woken by Bambi, who's my makeup lady, and I, she'd be waking me up with a cup of tea. So oh, eight love Bambi. Oh, eight o'clock in the morning, <laughs> would you like to get up now because you've got to have your makeup? I mean, that's the It's like a lie in for you. It's, yeah, it's like well, a listen, we can't perfect wait to job. see the show. It's Prue Lee's Cotswold Kitchen, but don't forget John's on it too. Um, <laughs> and it starts, it's Saturday mornings, uh, and it starts on the 24th of February. 24th can't of wait February. to see it. And happy Valentine's Day, whatever you do, John. Whatever Come on, you've got John. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know. Lovely to see you. I'll text you. <laughs>